Wow, wow, wow. Can Singapore's opposition really win? <laughs> Such a scenario is unlikely, observers say, noting it could be a gambit by new PM Lawrence Wong to make voters go for the safe option of returning the PAP to power. With the PAP's dominance firmly entrenched, key opposition parties have focused on seeking more transparency and accountability from the government. So as I said just now, the other ministers, and that includes SM, will continue in their respective portfolios. As to, I mean, there may be marginal adjustments here and there, but I do not expect at this stage major change. Um, I expect all of them, the ex existing uh, ministers, to remain largely in their current portfolios. But I'm still in the process, in fact, of engaging and speaking to each one of them. And I also have to take into account their considerations, what they would like to do as part of the team. Singapore's new Prime Minister Lawrence Wong struck the right note on key issues when he was sworn in this week, according to media reports. But he made many do a double take when he claimed his formidable ruling party might be ousted at the next election. In an interview with the local press before he took his oath of office as Singapore's fourth Prime Minister, Wong said it was, not unimaginable for two or maybe three opposition parties to come together, form a coalition, and run the government. Less capable. Government means end of the road. Prime Minister Lawrence Wong, rather it is part of a standard PAP, playbook warning voters not to take stable, competent government for granted. Their hunger for more, opposition voices could result in a so-called freak election that puts Singapore's future in the hands of less capable politicians. The next general election will take place against the backdrop of global uncertainty, or as Wong described it, a messier, riskier, more violent world. The PAP has tended to do well in such times, a stance analysts have previously described as the flight to safety. Domestically, however, the rising cost of living, job uncertainties, and lingering suspicions over foreign talent can all cohere to drag it down. Hey, hello friends, we come to the end already. Have you subscribed yet? Yes, press the subscribe button and the like button and the share button. Thank you and have a nice day.